you know, our nature, the nature of humans, allows all kinds of behavior. I mean, I, every one of us under some circumstances could be, uh, you know, a, a gas chamber attendant and a saint. You know, depends on all sorts of things. Now, these things are not written in your genes. Uh, and uh, people are have a fundamental moral nature. I don't doubt that. That's like, you know, if... if uh, you know, you see a starving child and you can steal food from him and there's no policeman around. Uh, very few people would do it. If they would do it, they're really pathological. I mean, there's some pathological extremes, but ordinarily people wouldn't behave like that. They do behave like that on a massive scale, massive scale, uh, but they're unaware of it. And uh, there's a huge indoctrination system designed to make them unaware of it and even to make them think that the starving child is stealing from them, you know, so we're the victims. Uh, uh, that's what propaganda and regimentation are all about, and, you know, it sort of works, and it uh, erodes the moral character. Uh, uh, it, it prevents you from looking at what you yourself are doing or what your leaders are doing and worry about somebody else. So you see that all, all the time. So the people can be very moral, but they're, they're acting within institutional structures, uh, constructed systems in which only certain options are easy to pursue. Others are very hard.